Check that out guys, our first blackberry, where was I pointing, <laughs> sorry guys, our first blackberry, how beautiful, yep, almost there, I wouldn't say I'll take it today, or should I, let me see, yep, no it's good today, so let's cut it up here, before the crows come, check out all these crows, you will not eat the blackberry guys. Go away. Wow. Only used to be two. Now there's like five or six of them. <laughs> but it's only five or six. They don't really bother people too much yeah, where I live. Booyah. There you go. Now let's get some lettuce. Today is party day. Lettuce and we need some arugula as well. So we're gonna cut some leaves of arugula. It's really got flowers arugula. It's not supposed to have flowers already. But um, I don't know. Maybe it's this type of one, you know. But it's very tasty anyway, so just keep on eating it. I'm gonna take quite a lot already. So that it starts like, you know, see if it starts growing more. There you go. I still got some dead leaves here. Got to trim them out. So yesterday was a very hot day as well. And that's why the blackberries are getting matured, see. I also cut from this one. Although it's small, but I'll still take some. Out of here as well yep and that's enough for a salad and now we're gonna get a lettuce 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 that one looks quite big but I think I'm gonna take that one right there oh and parsley they asked me for parsley let me just see here the watermelon yo look at that guys it's just growing day by day <laughs> Amazing. Hope the melons give. Yes. It's really gonna start. Look, look. You see that? That's a good sign. That little dude has to grow more. And this one's a different type of one. Doesn't seem the same. Or this one. I think when I was replacing the melons, I bought different type of melons. So that will be quite interesting. See which one will give. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay. I really need to invest in a, a better camera. Um, I think I'm gonna cut this branch here so that the other ones can grow a bit more. Uh, this one's not very good looking for food, is it, guys? Just toss it there to the grass, maybe it will grow. <laughs> I always toss it to the grass in hoping that it will grow. So I'm just gonna take the good looking ones because no one wants a. a ugly parsley in their food <laughs> okay and then then bit burned up I don't know why it's getting this color maybe it's because it's a bit I've been watering it enough been doing all my pot you know so I'm not quite sure I don't even know what this is. This is... What is this? Oh, the peppermint chocolate grows everywhere. Let's see here. And sometimes I do toss it in the grass and it does grow and I'll show you guys why. Okay, I think we have enough parsley. Yes. There's just some more parsley over here. I can take extra. Okay. Okay. Let's just put this cave. Let's just better here. Okay, little one. Gotta be always careful not to tramp the vegetables, you know. Look here. I threw spinach on the grass. And now spinach is growing on the grass. 
You see, that's why I always throw it, toss it to the grass. You know, everything that goes bad or like doesn't grow or something like that, you know. Or well, just, um, just like I did now with the parsley, you know. I just take it and throw it on the grass. And then sometimes it picks up. Now we got spinach growing with the grass. <laughs> How cool is that, guys? Amazing. So that's how you do it. <laughs> More spinach here growing. See? Just cut this. These weeds. I gotta cut the grass again. It's already full of weeds again. It's amazing. What I'm gonna do is just put this in the ground. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. See if it helps. If it picks on. I've been blessed with stuff just picking on from branches, you know. Even that pear tree is picking on, guys. But I'm keeping that as a secret. Whoa. Now I'm... Okay. Now spinach is going crazy here. I didn't know I had so much. Look at all this is spinach. Ish. I can't believe it. Okay. So I'm going to have to make a plan here. Separate the spinach, keep it all cleaned up, don't let no one cut the grass here. Well, that's cool. Okay. Now let's get our lettuce. Don't want to make this video too long. Maybe six minutes on vegetables. <laughs> I always get distracted, eh? And then I gotta keep editing the video because it's too long. Ah. Okay, that's what's cool. At least and worry I'm going to try to do something with this tire okay and I'm going to take this all to the rubbish check it out another male and female how cool is that guys actually got more into the light this time it shouldn't even be so outside here yeah now I've got to get a plank to cover them this is the problem, they always like to be on the outdoors, you know, um, out of their shelter. Not always, the eaters ones actually learned how to like keep underneath the shelter, but um, it's a bit risky. There was a bird here just now when I arrived and uh, he flew away. So we've been coming every day just to know, the birds know that we always like presents, because whenever we present they... Um, they tend to fly away yeah so I'm gonna put like a piece of wood here just to cover it right now okay so I got the I put this trunk here because it's got a flat area beneath it okay so I put it against that plank and the pellets see and now the birds can't see it and because I know they always like wood because the lovers eat a lot of wood, so that's just so good for them. So I'm just going to straighten it up a little bit more, like that. Okay, so that's well positioned, it won't fall or anything, and it's just one more camouflage for the shelter. It's actually quite uh, a bit, a lot of leaves and dead wood, so it's getting quite full now. <laughs> But um, yesterday there were three males, so and there were like four females, so they literally just flying, dropping, and they automatically just go in. There must be some smell that the females release, you know, hormone smell or something like that. It must be strong for them, because they know exactly where to go. Quite fascinating. When we didn't have a shelter, uh, they'd always be on the plums on the floor, and of course, uh, they wouldn't survive long. You know because birds would just like massacre them so this time we said no we are going to uh, do this in a way that they can have a chance you know and uh, yesterday afternoon a female over the restaurant also went I had to put her to the shelter because she was flying and just fell on the floor um, so I had to put her in the shelter during the day which is not normal because during the day uh, you know when the sun was high um, normally you don't see them so 
I put her there, she immediately just made a hole. And during the night, I'm sure she went because during the night they leave the shelter, you know, and just wander away. <laughs> but what is weird is that the females, let me just turn the camera. Hello, everyone. <laughs> A bit too late for the hello, but <laughs> so uh, what is weird is that the females and males, even during the night, they all come to the same spot so i don't know if they leave some kind of scents or something on the ground but why they always go to the same spots on the white rocks the white stones i don't have a clue i don't know if it has to do with the the light even when the moon's high and just reflects on the white stones i don't know but it's weird is that they always go to the exact same spots uh, even yesterday during the day she was also on the same spot so can't be the lights it's just weird <laughs> so if you guys have something like comments or anything that can help me out to figure out why these things happen um, just write on the comments okay uh, you're free and I uh, appreciate it guys <laughs> so I'm gonna go check if the female oh, got out where she was let's see the apples are also growing a lot we've got peaches growing apples it is going crazy okay so let's see this i'm gonna turn the camera around let's see what's in here so this is the perfect shelter for okay so she's still there you see look there right there that's where she is See, she buried herself. I dropped her there and she buried herself in there. I also put some plums. I don't know if they eat, but I left some plums as well. You know, just in case she did want it. Um, she was actually quite energetic. Uh, she had just fallen on the ground from flight, you know. They have a hard time landing. <laughs> so, because I also know they like... Um, a lot of dead wood that's why I also have this shelter for the rhinoceros see rhinoceros don't or don't behave the same as the stag beetles very different completely different behavior so that's cool she's still there it's the first time they one of them stays there maybe she's laying eggs or something eh? that should be cool that means that this area can never be plowed or can't plant anything on this area Neither can I on that area, that shelter. Um, that's cool. Pretty, pretty cool. And maybe I'll put some more wood here as well. What do you guys think? Put some more wood around? Although I know they never stay. It's the first time one of them stays. Maybe she's going to fly away tonight, you know. So we'll see that.